Hey guys, this is Walter with Centoro. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about strategies to gain backlinks on Google or other search engines. So, first things first, what are backlinks? Backlinks are essentially little votes back to your website. They are very, very important when it comes to SEO because these votes are ranking signals to a search engine that say this person's website is authoritative. It's trustworthy and other people are willing to say, yes, I like the content on here. So let me send a vote back to their site. So backlinks are a very, very important strategy when it comes to SEO. Now let's talk about some different ways on how to actually get backlinks because there are many. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about the main key ways to get these things, not, you know, pick this strategy over here, talk to this person about this thing, and maybe hopefully you'll get something. We're going to talk about the real ways to do it. So first things first is going to be blogging. So when you blog and when you create a piece of high quality, authoritative content, whatever it may be, um, let's take, for example, um, you know, you have a roofing company uh, and you're basically looking to get uh, more links for your article that you just wrote. Here's a strategy on what you do. You write the article that's focused around roofing services, you know, how to take care of your roof, how to clean your roof, whatever the case is. Then you go out to their websites that are in a related niche and you will message them, um, whether that be via phone, whether that be via email, whatever the case may be. Tell them you have a great article, you know, that might be able to support their business for what or their product or service or whatever they're doing. And basically what you'd like to do is, you know, you've linked out to them and you want to help them out. They want to help you out. Maybe they'll send you a link. The other way is basically if you produce a statistic within that article, you now have a much better chance of actually getting rankings and getting links basically, because now you have a source that somebody has to cite or at least it should cite if they're going with you know, idealistic journalism practices. People should be citing their content to let other users know, basically, you know, that this is a verifiable statistic or this is verifiable. This is where I found it from. You know, it's just common, common courtesy of sorts. So um, really, basically, what we'll do is we'll dive in actually to the next one, which is um, creating statistical based articles. So statistical based articles, um, anything with stats in them, whatever the case may be, those are great, great generators of backlinks. The reason why is because when you are producing those, they have all kinds of stats on them. So let's take, for example, you write an article about digital marketing statistics and you do a hundred statistics in this one article. You don't need to explain every one or whatever the case is. You just cover the stats. Well, now you have a great piece that when somebody is going through on your website and they're looking for statistics about marketing, you have a good, good article that people will want to link to. Journalists and people who write content for a living all day are looking for statistics and things to link out to because they need to make their articles that they are producing seem credible. So when you produce an article that has verifiable statistical facts in them, you will gain more backlinks from that. The next strategy is basically going to essentially like chambers of commerce or directory sites. So chambers of commerce could be a great way uh, to gain a link because typically what will happen is uh, these people will give you a backlink, you know, for becoming a member. Um, you know, there's different tiers that you could possibly get through signing up with within their organization. And perhaps one of them will lead a link back to your site. These links are very, very important because since they're coming from a local business, they don't need to have a follow aspect to them, or at least the follow and do follow aspect of links, which is what makes them powerful, doesn't really necessarily matter as much because local links are typically harder to get because they're a local business and Google doesn't really place that much of an effect on the follow versus no follow aspect of local links, which is why 
these Chambers of Commerce links or some of these other ones are so important. I did mention also directory sites. So be careful with this one because before directory sites used to really not be very well liked by Google. They're still not really well liked by Google, whatever the case may be. And the reason being is because people used to abuse these links and these signals. Um, and now if you're going to use a directory site and you're going to do that sort of content, then what you need to do is you need to look at basically the site, make sure it's high quality, make sure it's authoritative, all of this stuff. And if it passes those markers, then go ahead and look to put your company on the directory site. And there's another way to gain backlinks. You know, so you combine basically all of these strategies together, such as the directory sites or going onto the chambers of commerce to statistical links and blogging. Now, what do you have? You have a great backlinking strategy, you know, that you can use basically just as time goes on, your website will gain more links, your SEO will improve, your website traffic will improve, everything will get better as a result of using these strategies and looking to make the algorithm see that basically your website, uh, your content that you have is better than everybody else's and you'll be rewarded for that. Of course, if you guys need help with this sort of thing, our SEO company, um, our agency can help you with this sort of stuff. We focus on it on a daily basis. We would be very, very happy to help. We can get in contact with each other by calling 407-923-0109 or by emailing info at centoro.com. That's C-I-N-D-T-O-R-O. -O. We hope to hear from you. Hope you found this video useful. Check out some of our other ones and consider subscribing. Thanks.